That's why someone can watch a video of God moving and they get healed, right? Mm. There's something encaptured in that moment. We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where you hear the untold stories of the harvest. I have the amazing honor today of having the president and CEO of Shape the Nations Ministries, our very own evangelist, Nathan Morris. Thank you so much for being here with us today. It's an honor to be on Behind the Signs. This is one of my favorite, to see all the miracles and the move of God around the world. And what a privilege we have to be able to be a part and to witness the glory of God. Amen. As you say, to be able to witness the glory of God, God has opened the door to Nicaragua, a mm -hmm. nation that has been closed, but now God has given us a window. Talk to us about your experience and how the Lord dealt with you about going to the nation of Nicaragua and seeing the gospel being preached. I think some of the most you know, defining moments of my life, my walk with God are ones that were never planned, but they were sovereignly ordained by God. And Nicaragua is certainly one of those moments in my life that I never expected. But as many may know, God is pouring out His Spirit in Nicaragua. Multitudes are hearing the gospel. Amen. From the government all the way down through the nation, God is doing incredible, incredible things. I was invited by a missionary, Britt and Audrey Hancock, who are the leaders of Mounting Gateway. And they really spoke to my heart and said, do you believe God can shake a nation? And wow. In that moment, wow. you know, I felt the Holy Spirit really challenge my heart. You know, God has given us shake the nations. We've seen great things through the years, you know, but I felt that this was a, a destiny moment. Amen. And. Uh, the proposition was that the government had given us access to hold mass gospel campaigns throughout the whole nation. It would take millions of dollars, you know, logistically, some would say impossible mm. in the time frame. But then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he reminded me of when the king came to Elisha. Amen. Elisha is about to, you know, go be with the Lord and he's coming to the end of his life. and. You know, the king is nervous and he said, what about Israel? What about the armies of Israel? And the prophet said to the king, take the arrows mm. and strike the ground. Amen. And the king takes the arrows and he only strikes three times. And the prophet, what seemed really harsh at the time, the prophet said, if you'd have struck six times, you would have had total victory. Mm. And it wasn't the amount of times he struck, it was the heart wow. in wow. which he struck. Wow. And God, when he opens a door, he wants us to seize the moment. Wow. And I knew the Lord was telling me, son, don't miss this moment, strike the ground. We didn't know what we were walking mm. into. There've been many challenges in Nicaragua, but what we, we can look back now in hindsight and mm. see, you know, the incredible move of God. Amen. But in Amen. that moment, everything was unsure, mm. but I knew that the Lord had spoken to me. Amen. And uh, we laid everything aside in order to, you know, I, I always talk about serving your visitation. In that moment, nothing else matters. Wow. Only wow. what God has in store. That is so powerful. And you mentioned something in particular. You said seize the moment, mm. the moment that God has given us. And as we go about the nation of Nicaragua, preaching the good news of Jesus, there are certain moments that the glory comes down moments where we are in awe of what the Holy Spirit is doing. I want us to see a video of a glory moment where the presence, the tangible presence of yeah. Jesus came down. Let's look at this video and I want you to take us through that moment. What were you feeling as we're going through this glory moment?
Jesus, Jesus, from Nicaragua, desde Nicaragua, we lift up your praise, exaltamos a tu nombre, and we cry out, y clamamos a ti, pour out your spirit in Nicaragua, derrama de tu espíritu sobre Nicaragua, pour out your spirit, derrama de tu espíritu, across this nation, sobre toda esta nación. You know, Mauricio, we're, we're standing in Chinandega, if I remember correctly. Multitudes have gathered. The city streets are closed down. There was backlogs of traffic for hours. You know, this was something just to behold. And right in the middle of the service, the power of God. And really watching a video, I know many will feel the presence of God, but you cannot describe it unless you're there. The glory of God in that field was overwhelming. I, I remember and suddenly the crowd began to worship God mm. almost spontaneously. And they began to sing the song, show me your glory, Lord, show me your glory. And uh, how do you describe those moments? Exactly. You know, as the Holy Spirit begins to move and he heals and he's setting people free and people are weeping. And you know, there's a, a scripture that says that if all the miracles that Jesus did mm. would have been recorded, there wouldn't be enough books in the world to hold them. And many times in those fields with thousands and thousands of people, you know, watching that video, people have a greater perspective than I do even being on the stage. I can only see so far. That is a, an ocean of humanity. Yes, it is. And yet at the same time in that field, there's no measuring stick to mm. say what God is truly doing, you know. We have glimpses. People come and say, I was in Chinandega, you know, I was carried into the meeting. God healed me or God set me free or, mm. you know, but we, we only have a glimpse. And those moments you can't manufacture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are sovereign. But wow. one wow. thing I would say is it, it only comes from the hunger of the people. Amen, amen. You know, the Bible promises, it says, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. The filling can only come from the emptiness. Wow. The wow. hunger. Wow. Right? And there was such hunger in that field that God had to fill it. Amen. Amen. You know, as we watch that video, I sense the presence of the Lord. Yeah. And one of the things that I've learned from you is that that's a moment in eternity that was manifested everybody that was in Chinandega. And when God does something in eternity, it remains, it lasts. Well, ev everything the Lord does is eternal because He is spirit, right? Yes. So when He moves, He moves from that eternal realm into time. Amen. So I talk about that when you remember, the Bible speaks about remembering the things of God, yes, right? Yes. The, there are moments in time that that forever, the same anointing, the same glory, that's why when you watch it back, you're taken back to that yes. moment. Because what he does is eternal, that same glory. That's why someone can watch a video of God moving and they get healed, right? Mm. There's something encaptured in that moment. Amen. The same power, the same glory has been captured, you know. And as a, as a minister or, or having the privilege of being a part of that, your only job is not to touch it. Wow, wow. And that's when you're walking on water, right? <laughs> because you cannot touch it. I always say this, that a true move of the Holy Spirit will make an amateur of you every single time. Wow. That is so powerful as Evangelist Nathan is speaking about the glory moving. Right now, as you're watching this segment of Behind the Signs, Allow the Holy Spirit to touch you. Amen. Allow the Holy Spirit to inspire you. Amen. Allow the precious Holy Spirit to bring transformation because as the song goes, it's His glory. It's His glory that heals. It's His glory that sets the captive free. Amen. Until next time, this has been Behind the Signs. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more? 
To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.